One of the things that entrepreneurs or business owners, CEOs in general worry about is, as we grow our business and hire more talent, what's going to happen to the culture? How does that shift? Does it change? Are we going to lose who we were in the beginning? And do we want to hold on to that? Or do we evolve our culture as our business grows? So, John, I'd love to hear from you what you're doing with your culture and, and what that means for you. Sure. I think the first thing you have to do is define what culture do you want, OK? Raise your hand if you would like to be ranked number one best place to work. OK, everyone raises their hand. Now let's define what number one best place to work means. Does that mean that we all hold hands, sing kumbaya, get everything for free, mediocrity is allowed because nobody gets fired, you know, because that would be a bad place to work? You know, so the, the reason why I bring that up is because you really have to define what are you trying to achieve with your culture. So there are a few things. You talk about the buzz and you talk about the energy. I'm going to give you a few things. One, rise from the very, very beginning is a high performance culture. Anyone who works at Rise has to understand we only settle for A players. The second thing is we have a constant sense of urgency. I'm going to give you an example. We received a lead on a Wednesday, did a full audit for that company by Friday, flew out there on Monday, presented, won the deal by the time we landed, and closed the contract the next Wednesday. It took a seven-day sales cycle. It was a massive, massive deal. By the time any of our competitors even could react, we already won the deal because we have a constant sense of urgency. Now, there's somebody who came from uh, from Discover who works at Rise now. And you know, when I told him about this sense of urgency, he said, Don't worry, John, I'm the hardest working person at Discover. I understand, you know, like you guys work hard. Well, he was floored when he finally got into the culture. And the reason why is that, you know, John, what, what I finally understand is here's the difference. Being the hardest working person in an organization that works at a slow pace, if you have a day where you want to slow down for a moment, you can slow down for a moment, but at Rise, you know, the second you slow down, you just get hammered by emails, your phone starts ringing, you start getting text messages. You know, it's this constant sense of urgency. We, so we've defined certain things that create that energy. But the other thing that you have to think about is it also an attitude of what do you want your environment to be like? One of the things that, you know, we do not accept is bad attitudes. There is nothing wrong with being unhappy with your job. Okay, don't get me wrong. There are days that I wake up where I'm unhappy with my job. But there is everything wrong with making somebody else unhappy with their job. And we work very hard to root that out. So we spend a lot of time, you know, I, I heard it just today where someone was telling me, it's just amazing how nice everybody is at your organization. Well, it's done by design. I'll give you a real good example. I just went to a meeting of last month with you know, one of the massive holding company agencies, and I walked into their office, and I just, just that first interaction, I'd like to judge, you know, what is it like to walk into somebody's office? It was the coldest, most sterile environment ever. So they called the person I was supposed to meet, and that was it. They're like, they'll be right there. Didn't tell me where to sit, didn't ask if I want to take my coat, didn't offer me water, didn't, I mean, it was like, the exact antithesis. You know, we actually spend time designing what is the experience supposed to be like when you walk into the office. Because if you think about it, that's the first impression that anybody has when they come in. So I'm going long-winded here, so I'm just going to add one thing. We have a strategic plan where there are four pillars. And one of those pil four pillars is called the right team. We have three strategic objectives under those pillars. One is company alignment. One is A players, and one is employee engagement. And we have very specific objectives and initiatives to make improvements in each one of those three areas so that we are constantly evolving this high performance culture.